What's up gamers and welcome to a brand spanking new episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays and boy are some exciting things brewing up in the near future so make sure you keep up to date via our website at potatomonster.com and going straight into our number 5 play, we have Sal Dien on Ezreal. Right now, him and Maokai are just setting up a gank at the bottom lane. As you see, he's just buying some time. Here comes Maokai with the root on to Caitlyn. Jan is coming out to try to help, as well as Amumu. Amumu's gonna run in there using his ultimate. Ezreal will just barely get out of the range of that. He's tossing out his ultimate. Here comes Caitlyn ultimate. That is gonna pick up the kill on Maokai. Now that is a 1v3. He's gonna hop on the squishy Jan and picking up his first kill. Bringing Caitlyn very low, but she will flash away, getting out of range. And now he's gonna make the smart choice to switch over to the Amumu before he gets too close to the tower. Amumu is gonna stun, but he's gonna quick pick up the back-to-back -back kills there for an unofficial triple. Double. Landing in at number 4 is Lil Jon on Karma, and yes, we have done the unimaginable and found the Karma clip that is worthy to be in our series. So right now, Lil Jon is hunting down this Caitlyn, but taking some unnecessary damage from the turret. She's going to decide to back off, being sandwiched between the two sets of enemy players, though, and taking some damage from the Caitlyn ultimate and Shogas. She's going to decide to back off, letting the Alistar be in the front line for right now. Alistar will knock him into the wall, and she will get her first kill on the Shogas. Turning around for just a second, but flashing back in, getting stunned by Silva, picking up the double kill right before the stun goes off, and then the triple kill from the Caitlyn, now granting Alistar the speed buff, grabbing that creep kill with some style points, getting up to the gangplank, and now she'll pick up the quadra kill with the shield damage off Alistar and show the true strength of a solid karma. Ninja kicking his way into our third place spot is Serbian Assassin on Lee Sin, and we're going to come right into the middle of this team fight in this clip as he will ban Alistar knowing he will follow his teammates and going in straight for the Morgana with his Q. She will take some heavy damage but flash away, turning around to toss out Dark Binding and Tormented Soul, so he's going to take a little bit of damage here as he will turn around to get onto the enemy Talon, but Talon will stealth with Exhaust up though, so they know he's going to be nearby and both Talons will end up falling. And now the enemy team led by Nidalee will pursue Lee Sin, but he won't have this blasphemy as he will turn around to land a very, very impressive kick on Nidalee to pick up a sick double kill and to help him and Lux escape in what should have been two more deaths for his team. Coming in at number 2 is K-Style Azure on Lux, and this clip is taking place post a fight at Baron. As you can tell, the score is intensely close with both teams at 31 kills a pop, and right now his team is chasing three enemy players that are left all through the enemy jungle. They look like they're going to get away and heal up, come back to defend. This game's just going to keep dragging on, but K-Style won't have this happen as we're going to slow this down. An epic laser is going to come from the Lux, and it is going to line up all three enemy players that are left, picking up the triple kill in one go. This ace was essential to the success of this game and looked freaking sweet at the same time. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have MH2G on Shaco. And at the start of this clip, he is going to deceive right in and smite Seal Baron for his team. And now he will immediately pop his ultimate and make a very good choice to get past the Garen and rush the enemy carry. Ash will flash away, but he will bring her down with ease. And now we're going to slow this clip down as you can see him deceive right next to Vayne. But notice, he will wait for her to turn her back so that he can attack her from behind and grant more damage. And hence the one shot. He will then immediately switch to the next high source of damage, which is Nidalee, and kill her. And then onto the Vladimir with an amazing Jack in the Box Fear. He will then deceive away as Amumu comes in, stunning the Garen, and he will pop his ultimate as well. And he will pick up the Pentakill and the Baron Steel off this. This clip showcased some excellent choice of targets and a definite well played Shaco. And for the bonus clip for this week, we have Noob Daddy on Talon trolling the enemy team with the most pro pathing for an escape that I've ever seen. Just as an update, I want to say that videos will now be every Friday and Tuesday. I know we've been switching things around a lot, but this works out the best because we've noticed some things that have come to the conclusion that this spacing is the most optimum. And like I said at the start, we have some huge news coming very, very soon that will be surprising to all of you guys, and we urge you to stay informed by constantly checking out our new videos and website at PertainaMonster.com. And also, today's the day Player's Choice Voting opens to go to Pertaina Monster and click on the Player's Choice link to vote for the video you want to be on Friday's video. Thank you all for watching, and from everyone here with the Pertaina Monster crew, we hope you guys enjoyed.